This is EA Sports Talk Radio with Patrick Kinghorn and Tony Cascarino. Well, Cass, halfway through that, I had to check we weren't playing cricket. A huge score on the board. And I tell you what, one-way traffic doesn't go anywhere near describing what we just saw. Who would have imagined that the victory would have been as wide a a margin as it was? Incredible victory. And your thoughts coming up next on EA Sports Talk Radio. You're live with the kick of Cass. Another caller coming to air now. Caller, have your say, please. Hi there, yeah, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to call in to uh, just talk about uh, just the attitude of some of the players in the game. Sure. At the moment. I mean, they're, they're, paid, they're paid more money in a week than I'm, I'm ever going to see in a year worth of working. And all they seem to do is moan about it or whine about it and never really put any real effort in there. I mean, they're playing football, for goodness sake. I mean, I'd do that on a Sunday morning for fun. You know, yeah. and then they get paid what a hundred thousand a week, and sometimes they just don't even seem interested. You know, I think, I think, you know, I think it's a bit of a disgrace. I think what they should do is take their money away and make, give it to charity and get them to play a week for charity. I mean, it's, it's just crazy amount of money that's being bounded around these days. We appreciate your call, thanks, Cash. We've been known to wager the odd pound note on the outcome of a football match. What football teams have been lucky for you when you've been punting in the past? Oh, I backed France in back in '98, Pat, to win the World Cup at seven to one, and then I backed them in 2000 at four to one to win the European Championships. But I did do a bit of money in 2002, thinking I was going to get the treble up. I went down. Call up, go ahead. Hi there, just wanted to call up and uh, just talk about the modern game. And I think I think it's going to the dogs, to be honest. I mean, all these players are more interested in where they're getting their next hair contract or modelling contract or whatever they're doing type contract than they are doing their, you know, what they're getting actually paid for to turn up on a Saturday and, and play. Uh, and then you can just see it. I mean, just look at the national team and the results that we've had lately and the, the latest championships that they've had. Right. The players just don't seem interested anymore. I mean, I think uh, I think someone's got to stop to There's got to be some sort of wage cap or mm. or sorting out sorting out the attitude of these players because uh, to be honest, I think I think the majority of them just seem like spoiled brat. Okay, then cheers. Thanks for the call. Let's get to the next call. Your thoughts on the matter? Line two. Oh, look at that man. Trounced them. Yeah. Say they didn't get a look in. Different class, mate. We're a different class. I think that just about sums up the mood of all the calls we've had so far today on EA Sports Talk Radio. Side bird and make the eyes go back to focus. <laughs> Welcome to a match of special significance for all involved with this football club. A change of ownership and management certain to bring about changes to the team itself and hopefully their chances of winning the competitions that really matter. Okay, hit long. Vieri now. Get in there. 
He's got the ball back, now he's looking for a teammate. It's a brave header. This is Gates. Collected at the back then. Made the ball his there. Good defending. It's Cristiano Ronaldo now. <laughs> it's like the ball belongs to him and he won't let anyone else play with it. Well, that's what you call a warm-up shot. Go kick deep into enemy territory. Decent header. Oh, the play's gone down here, and the referee's reaching for a card. And I think he knew that was coming. Yellow card for the tackle from behind. touch defender did what he had to do cleared the danger headed out of danger there's Cristiano Ronaldo helped on with the head free kick given here then Makaleli They've won a throw in. Vieri. His kicks. He's won possession well. Off they go. Back to the dressing room. with the score at nil nil. So one of these teams should make a trip down to one of the goals and actually make it worthwhile. At least have a shot. The uh, first half has set the tone. Let's see what the second half brings. The uh, managers have had their half-time input. Let's see uh, how much difference it makes to this second half. Really is very wayward. Yeah, he'll be a little disappointed. If you don't work the goalkeeper, you're never going to score. But it wasn't an easy chance. Look at the players that are around him. He's got it back, but who's he got in support? Just his ground. Viana. He won it well now. Can he use it? Fieri now. <laughs> Referee deciding that should be a free kick. Off the bar. Oh, that man even brushed the post as it went by. Piece of defending, pop it in the top draw. Brilliant. Oh, 
Did well to regain possession. Who's with him? It's uh, going to be a throw in. Free kick awarded here. Not a great free kick, no problem for the keeper. And down the field from the keeper's boot. Passed on there. Giggs. Got the ball, not the man. Hit and hope. Goal kick hit long. And now Vieri. You just wouldn't know which way this game is going to go. Manchester United back on the ball. Go kick deep into enemy territory. Excellent ball. He's such an elusive runner with the ball. It's a foul and a bad foul too. Lucky not to be booked for that. The wall did its job, stood firm. This is going to be a corner. Got up well there. Can't afford to lose possession there. That's a well timed challenge. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Vieri. Such skill, such balance, so good on the ball. Throws down the shot. Viana. Useful ball. Yes, nice ball. That's a speculative shot. Oh, he's lost it. There were possibilities there. Well, look at that one. It's so well organised at the back. They're just at the top of the game. Take a good team to get through them today. Only now. Not afraid to try it. Trying to score! That will surely settle it! He did well to score there. Keep his positioning was good. So they've got a lead to protect now. They know their opponents have got to chase the game. Show good anticipation to win the ball. They just can't get the ball off him. It's well worked. That's a good ball. Makaleli. This is Rooney. Hit and hope. 
Great save. If that one had gone in, it could have been all over. Skulls. Good pass. Fieri now. That's a heavy tackle. Free kick given. Hit the woodwork, back off the bar. It's there. I'm absolutely certain that goal will prove to be nothing but an irrelevant football in this game. I feel it's too late, lads. He's a relieved man. I was beginning to wonder if he'd ever score. Well won. Kept it in. Picks up the ball in a good position. Tipped away by the keeper. They're winning any dangerous areas. To break up this comes off the defender. Managed to find a way out. That's it. The final whistle. That is a marvellous result. One they can be proud of. Well, I wouldn't fancy anyone to score against this defence today. You're listening to The King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio. Well, Cass, I had to look hard, but I did that game and check it wasn't cricket. A cricket score looked on the cards, and so it proved they have absolutely hammered them today. Pat, everybody thought it was going to be a tight affair. Who would have imagined that the victory would have been as wide a, mar- a margin as it was? Incredible victory. And your thoughts coming up next on EA Sports Talk Radio. Cass, I don't mind. I don't resent you earning lots of money as a footballer. You've invested it wisely. You've raised a beautiful family. I've got a lot of time for that. But what about some of these no-good footballers now with their 25, 50, 75, 100 grand a week wages who just fritter it away on silly watches and big diamond earrings? Do you know what, Pat? In the 80s, they said they, they didn't earn money like they did in the 70s. In the 90s, it was exactly the same. Year 2000, they said they didn't earn the money like that in the 90s. I guarantee by 2010, they'll be saying exactly the same things about today. We've got 100 grand a week footballers now are you saying we could have 200 grand a week footballers sooner rather than later definitely why not time for your call and your thoughts oh fantastic what can you say absolutely destroyed them hammered them i tell you what they'll not want to play us again they didn't get a look in excellent we appreciate your call thanks here we go the switchboard is red hot plenty of people wanting to have their say on what was certainly a controversial game let's go to line four you're live caller I want to get a taxi to Gosworth as soon as possible. Hello? Have you not been listening to the last hour of the show? Next caller. Cash, you look at the way football's developed, both at domestic and European level, and the big difference has got to be the size of the squads. The top, top teams, the Chelsea's, the Manchester United's, the Arsenal's, the Real Madrid's, even the Barcelona's and the Juventus's and the AC Milan's and the Inter Milan's, it could go on. They've all got squads big enough to field two top teams. Can you name any more than that? I can name any more. We've got Marseille, your old club. They're European Cup winners in the past, aren't they? What about Germany, Bayern Munich? They have, Pat, but... What Borussia you, Dortmund! <laughs> what you can find in modern-day football is... Celtic! The types of teams like Chelsea now, they want two players for every position because one comes out, they get a perfect replacement. Did I mention Juventus? I did. I did mention Juventus. Let's get to the next call. Your thoughts on the matter. Line two. What a game. What a game. We rock. 
Come on. All right, then. Thanks for the call. We've certainly struck a call tonight. Call us on EA Sports Talk Radio. That's the kind of football we should be playing week in, week out. We absolutely dominated that game. And with the kind of players we've got, we should be doing that. That was an absolute classic. Keep it coming because, you know, that was... I'm speechless, to be honest. That was just unbelievable. I've never seen us play so so well. Okay, thanks. A short interval. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to The King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio. Well, Cass, halfway through that, I had to check we weren't playing cricket. A huge score on the board. And I tell you what, one-way traffic doesn't go anywhere near describing what we just saw. Who would have imagined that the victory would have been as wide a a margin as it was? Incredible victory. And your thoughts coming up next on EA Sports Talk Radio. Cass, we talked about the pressures involved in the Champions League in this day and age. Do you think it's a win at all cost mentality? Do you think these owners are just throwing money at the managers, demanding winning and nothing else? I don't care how they do it as long as they win. No, Pat, there's a lot of people out there now, managers and owners alike, they don't want just victories. They want to perform and send their fans home happy where it just wasn't about winning a game and a boring 1-0 victory. They want to see entertain. They want to be entertained. Yeah, why win 1-0 when you can win 7-6 or 8-7 or even 9-8? Excitement's the name of the game. Go ahead, please, caller. I've got two words. Get in. Get in. What a game. We dominated that match from start to finish. An interesting point of view. Keep your calls coming on EA Sports Talk Radio. Here we are again, taking your opinions, your calls, your thoughts on the beautiful game in the height of a Champions League season to remember. Let's go to the phone lines, Cass. Where do you want to go now? We'll go to Carl in Cardiff. Oh, what a game. What a game. I mean, I mean, it was just amazing, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely unbelievable. So, uh, you know, I just want more of the same time after time. All right, then. Thanks for the call. We've got time for another call. Come on, your thoughts. You're live on EA Sports Talk Radio. Tell you what the chairman should do. We we'll keep scoring. I guess he should put out some money to charity. Every goal we get, it's a ten thousand pound charity. That would be a good way to do it. And then we can keep scoring. Man, knew he's a bit tight, so uh, he'd probably tell him not to score more than two, wouldn't he? <laughs> more interesting views to come after the break.
after the first pre-season training matches, there were many well-publicised changes made by the manager. Uh, many of those changes came down from the new owner, we can uh, only speculate. But one thing seems certain, the new owner is unlikely to take a hands-off approach, so the manager will be keen to impress in this pre-season tournament. Yeah, what the manager's got to impress and the players, that he's the boss, Clive. I know the owner's got a huge say in this club, but managers manage. That's what the players want to know, that's what the players want to hear. Such a buzz around this stadium in the R leading to kick off. This is what it's all about. Away we go. Galasek. Good tackle, and there are possibilities now. Ronaldo. Defenders in charge. Snyder. Galasek. Song. Pinar holding the opposition here. Here's Coles. Here's Kicks. Here's Ronaldinho. Song. Did well to regain possession. Who's with him? Skulls now. This is Ronaldinho. The attack petering out there. Snyder, he could have hardly won the ball in a better place. Picked up at the back. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's got a hold of the ball in a threatening position. Not messing around with the chances, this guy. He didn't need a second invitation, that was his first strike of the match. <laughs> so, ten minutes into the game, and we have the first goal. Maxwell. Fine tackle. Rooney. Plays a long searching ball. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Throw it. Here's Wayne Rooney. Skulls. Here's Lisa Razou. Giggs. Ronaldinho. Across here. Such a dangerous runner with the ball. Ooh, can he get it in? So Trying to try the long ball. The ball is tied to his foot. Wonderful dribbling ability. He's made a bit of a hash of that as well. Why? Poor effort. Did the first part very well by creating the chance, but the shot at the end was a poor one. Go kick deep into enemy territory. This is Rooney. Galasek. Ryan Giggs now. Rooney. <laughs> that is definitely a foul. <laughs> well, catching like that means confidence for the whole safe time. He really got stuck in there, won it well. Can he put it away? I think he was just a little distracted. He's right through. 
Now then, this is Paul Scholes. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Wonderful close control. That's not the best place to lose the ball. Got it away. Ready now. They caught up with him though. Van der Vaart. Snyder. It's a good high ball. Galasek. Van der Vaart. Lost the ball, can't afford to give up possession there. Here's Giggs. He's having a go. He's never going to trouble the keeper, not a great effort. Well, that's his first shot of the game, Clive. They could have moved further in front if that had been more accurate. De Jong. Yes, that was a good tackle. This is Ronaldinho. He's stolen a march on the defenders here. They're in a wonderful position here. What you do, get it in the box. Deliver. Defenders scramble the ball away. He's got it back, but who's he got in support? They're really under pressure here, defending in numbers, getting penned in. Snyder. Defender took responsibility. There are those who say dribbling is a dying art, but it's, oh, it was a mistake there, and he's through. The keeper just touched that, he had to. Galasek. It's Fieri. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Goal! Two shots, two goals. He's having a great time. That's a couple of goals he's popped in already. They can't handle him. <laughs> Did well to regain possession. Who's with him? Locked. Goals. Here's Wayne Rooney. Hit us blocked. Referee's blown him up. Wide awake there. Corner kick has been given. And the ball is straight down the keeper's throat. Time and the score is 2-0. Well, the ball seems to be their own personal toy out there today. It's no surprise to me that they have the lead.
The defence now has the ball. Van der Vaart. Schneider. Neat touch. This is Rooney. And now Vieri. Ambitious effort. It was a bit of a miss hit and he knows it. Well, he's only keeping the pressure on himself with these misses. Just a little bit more composure and they could have had an even bigger lead here. Rooney. Nicely played. Chances his chances. Didn't strike that particularly well, always going wide. Well, that might have looked a bad miss, but trust me, it wasn't. Too many players around him, he didn't have much to shoot at. I'm not surprised he missed the target. Escude. Good touch. Pina. <laughs> Take that piece of defending, top it in the top draw. Brilliant. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's happy to take them on on his own, loves to run at people. The header tipped away. That could be costly. Song. Good ball. De Jong. Good rhythm about their passing now. Vieri. Ronaldo. Tipped away by the keeper. The player doesn't look happy, but neither does his manager. We've all seen him play much better than this, well below his usual standard. He can have few complaints, really. And the corner played right into the keeper's grateful hands. Here's Turan. A good pass. Pina. Song. He got his foot to the ball there. He's not trying to run at them with the ball. It's defending to make strikers feel utterly useless and very small. Got the ball back well. Pina, Song, he won the ball well there, this is Ronaldinho, <laughs> and here's a real chance, the ball is still in play here, what a corner, the defender, well, well there. Not short of options here, quite a few up. Here's Lilian Turam. They're going to have to get closer in if they're hoping to beat this goalkeeper. The keeper would have to have made a big mistake to be beaten from there. This is Paul Scholes. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Has to shoot. Now, can he score? Scores! Well, this goalkeeper really is being overworked. He's a relieved man. I was beginning to wonder if he'd ever score. The manager is obviously looking to freshen things up a bit. They're building a nice lead. It's 3-0 uh, now. De Jong. Van der Vaart. It's Cristiano Ronaldo now. Switch it.
This is a breathtaking run. Can he play it in? Here's a chance. Not bad, but he'll be looking for better next time. Ball back in play then. Obodai, good place to win possession. Rudy now. Not afraid to try it. Well off target this time, both high and wide. Yeah, he'll be a little disappointed. If you don't work the goalkeeper, you're never going to score. But it wasn't an easy chance. Look at the players that were around him. Goal kick hit long. Fieri now. It's Ronaldinho now. Oh, giving away in a dangerous area. Good reactions from the keeper. Oh, this keeper is being kept busy up here. Corner given. It's an opportunity. How oh good? How oh good? Stick to your man. Stick to your man. They've scored again. This goalkeeper really has had his work cut out today. They're really enjoying themselves out there now. <laughs> De Jong. Pina. Show good anticipation to win the ball. So comfortable with the ball at his feet. Now, can he steer in across? That was a good header, but it was an even better save. This keeper has been exposed to a lot of pressure. Only one minute of added time to be played. Oh, yes, important to have those ball winners in your midfield. Schneider. Yeah, that was excellent defending. Full time. And that was as good as they could have possibly hoped for at the start of the night. An excellent result. Oh, they've had so many shots, but the finishing was good enough to win them this game. You're listening to the King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio. Look at the grin on the manager, Cass, and no surprise. His team have done the business today, absolutely annihilated the opposition. He'll be going home a happy man tonight. Happy man with a performance pat. They kept the ball well, they passed it to every opportunity. Great finishing and a game that was everybody to savour. You could see the smile on the owner's face after the game as well. Looks like the manager's in for a bonus. Your thoughts next on EA Sports Talk Radio. Cass, this Champions League, it's got the biggest teams in Europe competing for the biggest prize in Europe, but it comes at a price. The pressure on the players and the manager nowadays, it's never been greater. Pat, they're all trying to win the ultimate prize. They've all spent big. They're trying to win games against the best opposition in Europe. Only one can win. Yeah, only one winner. Only the toughest will survive. The group stages, the knockout rounds. It's a demanding course and only the best will come out on top. Let's get to the next call. Your thoughts on the matter. Line two. What a great game. Two words, get in. We dominated that game from start to finish. Mm -hmm. We deserved that entirely. Absolutely outstanding performance. Great, great, great. Again, for momentum, you know, let's just compete with the best in Europe. Right. Simple as that. Cheers. Thanks for the call. I'll tell you what, we talk about great goals, Pat, in European Cup finals, the Champions League final. As we know, it is what it is today. What about Zinedine Zidane's volley in the final? 
Don't get better than that. It was an absolute perder. And it's scoring those kind of goals on the biggest stage, which makes a difference. You see those goals occasionally, week in, week out in football. You know, lower leagues, things like that. But to score a goal like that, Cash, in the Champions League final, takes something special. He's done it in World Cups. He's done it in Champions League. That's just the true class of a fantastic player. Go on, caller. Fire away. Tell us what you think. Oh, look at that man. Trounced them. Yeah. They didn't get a look in. Different class, mate. We're a different class. All right, then. Thanks for the call. You set the agenda. The platform is yours. The airwaves belong to you on EA Sports Talk Radio, where controversy and rumour abound. We want to know the fans' opinion. We've certainly struck a call tonight. Call us on EA Sports Talk Radio. This is excellent. I mean, every game is bang, bang, bang. In the net. Excellent. Can't complain. Scoring plenty. We appreciate your call. Thanks. A lot of disgruntled callers tonight. Give us more calls on EA Sports Talk Radio. Yeah, I just thought I'd uh, call in. Just wanted to discuss the state of the youth game. Sure. I mean, uh, obviously the, the, the transfer market's getting ludicrously expensive. I mean, they're, they're talking about millions and millions of, of pounds of playing these guys, hundreds mm-hmm. of thousands a week. And I just think we should really be turning to our, our youth systems. Mm-hmm. I mean, with better youth camps, better uh, feeder systems from you know uh, local players, you know, picking up some of this youth talent. And then uh, I think that's got to be best for the game, rather than just keep throwing this money around. It, it, it just seems a little bit ridiculous. The views are completely split down the middle. Well, pre-season tournaments have taken on added importance in modern day football as well as an opportunity for the manager to play around with formations and tactics. It's also an opportunity for the team to get exposure and to market itself. Football's come a long way since the old days, and it's now very much a big business venture, and the marketing machine that lies behind most big clubs tends to use these competitions as a means to sell the club. That kind of thing won't concern the manager much, though. He'll be looking for a good, solid start to the pre-season. We're underway then. Karagounis. Avora Rakoba. They're on. Good place to win possession. Now Emre. He's got the ball back. Now he's looking for a teammate. Davids. Hit and hope, that was not very far away. It's a good effort, hit very well. Goal kick deep into enemy territory. Ready now. That's a good pass, give for free kick. to go from way out, goal, and the blue touch paper is well and truly led. Well, he's good, he's very good, and I think that strike shows us why. He's a relieved man, I was beginning to wonder if he'd ever score. up well in midfield and now Davids he really got stuck in there won it well looking long Veron he won it clean as a whistle 
Well, that should have been given the other way, surely. It came off the other player. now oh chance here yes well not only out of the keeper's reach but out of this world great goal it's his second goal of the game you'd think they know what to expect from him by now Stole the ball, really, picked his pocket. Veron. Is it true? Here's Ronaldinho. There are times when he's virtually playing them on his own. Defenders in charge. Veron. Rekoba. Emre. Ferdinand. There are those who say dribbling is a dying art, but it's alive and well when he's on the ball. He's having a go. Didn't strike that particularly well, always going wide. He's desperate to complete his hat-trick, Clive. It's Zanetti now. Pass forward. One or two of the players furious about that decision. I don't think the referee had much of a view. What's your back? Here's Lisa Razu. Rooney. Skulls now. He loves having the ball at his feet, that's for sure. Superb save! Now, Emre. This is Adriano. Oh, he's given the penalty, but the foul was clearly committed outside the area. That's a very, very controversial decision. Here we go then. That's a great penalty. Knocked into the top corner. Did he do well to place it in the top corner? Play? It's a different match now. That's a two-one. They can easily get back into this. Trying to create some space, but there just isn't any out there. Vieri. Ronaldinho. Oh, that's a wild tackle. The free kick, the very least the referee could give. Savings he's offering are terrible. They paid the ultimate prize for giving away a free kick in such a dangerous area. They're looking good now. Scoreline is 3-1. Uh, Javier Zanetti.
what the bet must have a go. They've scored again. Well, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's his first shot of the game. Took his first chance of the game like he was never going to get another one. They're on. He's won it well. Now, what's on here? Go in then. First shot of the game, Clive. Short one then. 30 now. Time for a breather and some half time talking with the uh, scoreline here 4 1. Well, the ball has hardly been out either team's 18 yard box. The amazing thing is, we've only seen one team score. Still a marvellous atmosphere here. The fans certainly looking forward to this second half. Here's Ronaldinho. Yes, that was a good tackle. They're on. The long ball and well directed. It's Fieri. All too easy for the defence. Matarazzi. Recoba. This is Adriano. Got the ball back well. Now Emre. This is Gates. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he finish? It was a wonderful save, you know. And that save will help him rebuild his confidence. Now for a corner then. the keeper this is Paul Scholes good ball there are those who say dribbling is a dying art but it's alive and well when he's on the ball and now Davids Karagounis that's a good ball Zanetti now. It's like the ball is tied to his foot. Wonderful dribbling ability. Oh, that's a bad miss. Now nah, that wasn't easy. Not an easy chance at all. Just look at the amount of players that were around him. Had to hit it early, had to hit it quick. I'm not surprised he's missed. So a change in personnel there then. Vieri. Rudy. Ambitious effort. Completely mishit that. It was a poor shot and he knows it. This guy could hit a donkey with a banjo. Goal kick hit long. Pieri now. Rudy now. He can't resist. That shot went well wide of the goal. Well, oh, that's two misses now. I hope the fans don't get on his back. They've got to see this through, got to play through to the final whistle. That wasn't a good effort. Goal kick deep into enemy territory. This is Davids. Always putting pressure on the ball in midfield. Here's Nizrazu. Ronaldinho. Everything was against him. And now Rakoba. Now Zanetti. And that 
Mark's out for a throw then. Alvaro Rakoba. This is Adriano. More wide awake there, very alert. Ali Drazou. Nice pass. Zanetti. Karagunis. Veron. Adriano now. He wanted that ball, he wasn't going to take no for an answer. Now then, they've stolen the ball back. just happened that comes with practice the poor goalkeeper shell shot goals just flying past him and there's surely no coming back from that it's 5-1 now Here's Wayne Rooney. They need to safety. Ryan Giggs now. He'll be disappointed with that. Oh, he should have doubled his tally there, no question about it. Zanetti now, he's gone for a throw. Rudy now. It's Ronaldinho now. Chance to pick a pass there. <laughs> Skulls now. Kili Gonzalez. Inter have the ball, but they have to do something with it and quick. This game's getting away from them. Good tackle, and there are possibilities now. It's like a slalom skier dodging and weaving his way past the defenders. Wonderful balance. Well, even the best striker would be struggling against this defence. He's got the ball back, now he's looking for a teammate. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He stole it, he's got a chance it. Veron. Oh, he's missed time that tackle. Still a chance to cross. This is Giggs. That's a good touch. And now Vieri. Very tight there, but he almost found a way out. He got a hand to that. And the keeper just got a touch. Great stop. Got it back in midfield. <laughs> Give it a foul. <laughs> Hit the woodwork, back off the bar. Just hoofed out of the box. Cavalli. This looks promising. Oh, that's criminal to lose the ball there. Now, can he whip it across? Go for 
for the long throw here. Rudy. His kicks. Has a go from way out. Stunning save. Truly wonderful. This keeper has been exposed to a lot of pressure. That's it. The final whistle. That is a marvellous result. One they can be proud of. Oh, they've had so many shots. But the finishing was good enough to win them this game. You're listening to The King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio. You're with The King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio, where yet again we have seen an avalanche of goals, Cass, coming from every angle, hat-tricks left, right and centre. Great to watch. Everybody's scoring. All they need now is the goalkeeper to get on the score sheet. Cass, I don't mind. I don't resent you earning lots of money as a footballer. You've invested it wisely. You've raised a beautiful family. I've got a lot of time for that. But what about some of these no-good footballers now with their 25, 50, 75, 100 grand a week wages who just fritter it away on silly watches and big diamond earrings? Do you know what, Pat? In the 80s, they said they, they didn't earn money like they did in the 70s. In the 90s, it was exactly the same. Year 2000, they said they didn't earn the money like that in the 90s. I guarantee by 2010, they'll be saying exactly the same things about today. We've got 100 100 grand a week footballers now. Are you saying we could have 200 grand a week footballers sooner rather than later? Definitely. Why not? Time for your call and your thoughts. Oh, look at that man. Trounced them. Yeah. Say they didn't get a look in. Different class, mate. We're a different class. We appreciate the call. Thanks. Cast this Champions League. It's got the biggest teams in Europe competing for the biggest prize in Europe, but it comes at a price. The pressure on the players and the manager nowadays, it's never been greater. Pat, they're all trying to win the ultimate prize. They've all spent big. They're trying to win games against the best opposition in Europe. Only one can win. Yeah, only one winner. Only the toughest will survive. The group stages, the knockout rounds. It's a demanding course and only the best will come out on top. Let's get to the next call. Your thoughts on the matter. Line two. Oh, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. Yeah. Come on, lads. Um... We're doing very well. Mm-hmm. The midfielders creating chances for our strikers and uh, they're putting them in the back of the net. Yeah. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, 30 yarders, tap ins, uh, deflections, they all count. Sure. That's what the game is all about scoring lots of goals. And uh, we're managing to do that. Get in. That was a good point. Thanks for the call. Pick up that phone now. Let's go to line three. You're live, line three. Yeah, I just want to call in. I, mean, I just wanted to say. Obviously, there's a lot of money in the sport now, and, and it, it seems it seems crazy that these poor referees uh, have to have all that pressure on them to make the right decisions. Sure. I mean, isn't it about time they've got a bit more professional about it? It's got some, uh, you know, uh, vi- uh, video replays or whatever. I mean, it, it's quite they, they do it in other sports, and you know, like I saw it on American football football on, the other day on TV. They do it. Right. Um, uh, I mean, the Americans always do stuff like that much better than we do. Um, but um, you know. Well, we should get we should get video playback so that we can, can make sure that decisions are real. You know, yeah. you know, like in 1960. I mean, that 1960 may have been that may have not helped us out, but but you know, it might be a good idea. Well, it's getting quite heated in the studio. It's getting quite heated on the phone lines. Lots more controversial views to come when we come back on EA Sports Talk Radio.
A pre-season tournament, it may well be, but that doesn't make it any less important to these players. With a win here, they will win the tournament, and that can only impress the new owner, who has no doubt been keeping a close eye on the players. Now we know what this club is all about now, play. They've had to hit the floor running. Shot coming in, blocked. Oh, yes, what a goal! I'll tell you what this team do, they work free kicks ever so well. That's a classic example, it's a wonderful goal. They always carry a threat from free kicks in that area. Brody now, that was a nasty He's a goalkeeper, he's had some bad moments in the past two years, want to put him under pressure. Puyol, Deco, oh yes, important to have those ball winners in your midfield, here's Wayne Rooney, Ronaldinho, oh he's got a chance, put the ball in the box, yes good volley, no doubt about that, it's a goal kick, Vieri, so keen to win the ball back. He did well to get the ball and in a very promising position. Oh, that's what you call a tackle. Did well to win it there. That was a speculative shot to say the least. Let's see if won't live long in the memory of that one. That was a terribly disappointing effort. They've still got a chance of saving this game, too. Deep ball through. The lines and flags for offside. Here's another look at the offside. Ball back in play then. Van Bronckhorst. Motta. He won the ball well there. Here's goals. Turam. Ready now. Deco. Good touch. now here's Wayne Rooney here's Puyol the defender gets a foot in now Julie Motta got the ball not the man Here's Eto. He's got space for the cross. Skulls. Everything was against him. Rudy. It's Fieri. That's a fine tackle. Such a dangerous runner with the ball. Has to get a shot in here. It was a clock. Hit the post. This is Rooney, collected by the defender, Ronaldinho, has been headed away from danger, this is Giggs, nice ball, this game very much in the balance as we approach half-time, Deco, this is Eto, Deco, this defence is a tough nut to crack, and here's a real chance. The referee is signalling for a goal kick.
Cleared away then. Rudy now. Giggs. Oh, he was fouled there. Great reflex, he's just got his fingertips to it. Possibilities here, they've got a corner. That could be costly. And now Eto. Akaleli. Pass forward. Free kick awarded here. Denied by the keeper's fingertips, nearly. He's given away a corner there, they've got some defending to do. Heads it clear. Here's Eto. He's taken the ball from the defender. Now, can he beat the keeper? It's in! Oh, you have to see it. This lad's got a good head on his shoulders. Nothing to separate these two. It was always going to be a close game. <laughs> Already plenty of goals, plenty to talk about as we come in at half-time with these scores at 2-2. Well, they've had so much of the ball, but the game is still close. There'll be a lot of frustration in the dressing room at half-time. Now, what we're going to see in this second half, more of the same or something completely different? We shall see. Such a dangerous runner with the ball. That's a speculative shot. Fingertip saved by the keeper. Corner. The keeper will take those all day long. The keeper clears. It is Rio Ferdinand. Oh yes, important to have those ball winners in your midfield. And now Vieri. They're in a wonderful position here. You, what you do, get it in the box. Deliver. Settled for conceding the throw-in. Van Bronckhorst. Yes, good, searching ball. Now, here's a chance! And the keeper just got a touch, great stop! Oh, what a goal! Oh, he looks in fine form today. They put themselves in a good position now. Can they improve it? <laughs> Three two is the score here, then. No shortage of goals. He got the ball cleanly enough now, what can he do with it? He's such... So it will be a throw. Here's 
Here's Wayne Rooney. Needs a decent cross. Tips away the header. This keeper is under constant bombardment. He needs some help from his defenders. Corner kick. So a change in personnel there then. Well collected by the keeper. Now Ferdinand. I think he was just a little distracted. Rooney. They did well there, good defending. Yes, goals. That's a, a clear free kick, but no card shown. It wasn't a pretty tackle. Ronaldinho. Shooting chance here. It's there. Oh, what a goal. What a very, very good goal. It's a brilliant strike. So accurate, so powerful. That's two goals for him now. He's just so difficult to keep quiet. <laughs> Chaffee. Got it well. Now what can he do? Chances his chances. Brilliant save. How on earth did he get to that? Oh, he's caught that ball as if he's winning a pitcher's mitt. Motta. It's like the ball belongs to him and he won't let anyone else play with it. And not surprisingly, the referee does take out the yellow card for that challenge. Well, I don't think he can now do that position, Clive. This deserves to be booked. <laughs> They've scored again! Oh, top quality goal, that. There's no denying the skill involved there. It's going from bad to worse for the keeper. He's having a nightmare. That moves the score on to 5-2. And certainly no shortage of goals for the crowd here. He wanted the ball a bit more than his opponent. It's Fieri. Sorted things out with the clearance. Now Julie. He's won possession well. Ryan Giggs now. And now Vieri. Two or three players waiting in the middle. It's Chavi now. And that's out for a throw then. Deco. This is Eto. Julie. Deco. This is a definite chance. Cut out by the keeper. And down the field from the keeper's boot. Now Prio. Handed it up well. This is Chavi. Larson. It's Manchester United's game to do what they will with. They shouldn't really lose it now. They're back on the ball. This is Ronaldinho. Has to try and cross it here. Right away there. They did a corner. Just enough of a touch from the keeper. Oh, it's an own goal! 
if it was at the other end, he would be intended to be pleased with that. The defender may wish to look away now. Here comes that old goal again. Chavi. It's surely now. Well, these defenders really are a collective tower of strength. Here's Wayne Rooney. He's never going to trouble the keeper, not a great effort. Vieri. Ronaldinho. Good pass. Wonderful lofted pass there. Headed away. It's Chavi now. Lost the ball. Can't afford to give up possession there. Great keeping. He just can't keep this keeper play. Full time. And that was as good as they could have possibly hoped for at the start of the night. An excellent result. They dominated the game in all areas, Clive. That's what made it a one-sided game in the end. You're listening to The King and Cass on EA Sports Talk Radio. Look at the grin on the manager, Cass, and no surprise. His team have done the business today, absolutely annihilated the opposition. He'll be going home a happy man tonight. Happy man with a performance pat. They kept the ball well. They passed it to every opportunity. Great finishing and a game that was everybody to savour. You could see the smile on the owner's face after the game as well. Looks like the manager's in for a bonus. Your thoughts next on EA Sports Talk Radio. If you've got some scandal you want to talk about relating to your team, have you caught your owner out? Are your players painting the town red at night when they should be tucked up in bed preparing for a game? Call us now on EA Sports Talk. Tucked up in bed, Pat. I was never tucked up in bed. I was out on the town with the players. And that's why you're fat, overweight and presenting a radio show when you should still be playing, Cascarino. A lot of disgruntled callers tonight. Give us more calls on EA Sports Talk Radio. This is excellent. I mean, every game is bang, bang, bang. In the net. Excellent. Can't complain. Scoring plenty. All right, then. Thanks for the call. Cash, you look at the way football's developed, both at domestic and European level, and the big difference has got to be the size of the squads. The top, top teams, the Chelsea's, the Manchester United's, the Arsenal's, the Real Madrid's, even the Barcelona's and the Juventus's and the AC Milan's and the Inter Milan's, you could go on. They've all got squads big enough to field two top teams. Can you name any more than that? I Pat? can name any more. We've got Marseille, your <laughs> old club. They're European Cup winners in the past, aren't they? What about Germany, Bayern Munich? They have had, but what Borussia you, Dortmund. <laughs> what you can find in modern day football is Celtic. The types of teams like Chelsea now, they want two players for every position because one comes out, they get a perfect replacement. Did I mention Juventus? I did. I did mention Juventus. Here we go. The switchboard is red hot. Plenty of people wanting to have their say on what was certainly a controversial game. Let's go to line four. You're live, caller. We just can't miss at the moment. Every time we get the ball. Well, we look like scoring. I am loving it. Yep. OK, thanks, Caller. Caller, go ahead. You know, some great goals, and uh, they're all going in the back of the net, which I'm delighted about. I think the team are on a high. Um, it's great entertainment, and uh, we just need to make sure it doesn't dry up, to be honest. We're going to a break now. We'll be back on a couple of moments' time. Telling you, yes. 
in the game now and the away team will be looking for that all-important away goal away goals frequently decide who goes through for the qualifying stages and the away team will be trying to make the most of this corner Straight into the keeper's hands. Delgado. They need to get the ball forward now. Francesco Totti. He was nowhere near the ball there. Ronaldinho. A couple of players in the middle to aim for. All oh, chance here in the middle. Oh no, offside. A closer look at the offside then. Cleared away then. Can he shoot? He scored! It's all square now! Took his first chance of the game like he was never going to get another one. Well, this is impressive. <laughs> He's a merger of the ball, did well there. Such a dangerous runner with the ball. Delgado. Excellent ball. They've got the ball here in the centre of the park. Always putting pressure on the ball in midfield. Rooney now. That's a well-timed challenge. Didn't stand on ceremony, just got it away. Ronaldo. Well played. Delgado got the ball back well. He's really taking the defenders on. Has to shoot. Corner kick. by the defender. Good tackle now, who's available? Here's Ronaldinho. Have to try and cross it here. Ball headed on. Zidane, collected calmly at the back. Is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's the sort of player who gets you out of your seat. He's a rare talent. Two or three players waiting in the middle. It's offside. 
Remember, the offside decision is made when the ball is played to him. One back in midfield, chance to set something up. Delgado. Stole the ball, really, picked his pocket. It's been worth the journey. They've held their own on foreign soil and will return home on terms and believing they can qualify now. I think it's a fair result, Clive. They've competed very evenly throughout this match. definition a ball draw and you'll see a great big picture of that game not exciting but I suppose at least they didn't get beat it wasn't good watching Pat but both managers will take the heart out of how good they were defensively Cash you look at the way football's developed both at domestic and European level and the big difference has got to be the size of the squads the top top teams the Chelsea's the Manchester United's the Arsenal's the Real Madrid's even the Barcelona's and the Juventus's and the AC Milan's and the Inter Milan's could go on. They've all got squads big enough to field two top teams. Can you name any more than that? I Pat? can name any more. We've got Marseille, <laughs> Euro Club. They're European Cup winners in the past, aren't they? What about Germany, Bayern Munich? They have, Pat, but what... Borussia you... Dortmund! <laughs> what you can find in modern-day football is... Celtic! The types of teams like Chelsea now, they want two players for every position because one comes out, they get a perfect replacement. Did I mention Juventus? I did. I did mention Juventus. Your thoughts on the matter? Go ahead. Well, you know, we didn't lose, and that's something, but, mm. uh, you know, it, it annoys you. One quick goal and you've won it, yeah. but I suppose control ourselves. One quick goal, we could have lost it as well, so better than a loss, but not as good as a draw. Sure, all right. Thanks for the call. OK, we'll take the next call now. Give your thoughts. Are you there? Go on, fire away. Let's move on. We haven't got time to waste. We've certainly struck a call tonight. Call us on EA Sports Talk Radio. Sometimes the draw's as good as a win. Great defensive display. Uh, could do with um, could do with blowing out a bit more. And uh, you know, let's let's get that game. Things are getting hot in here. I'm going to turn the air conditioning on, and then we'll be straight back with more of your calls on EA Sports Talk Radio. start to the season well they've had the pre-season they've worked hard they've trained hard this is where it starts for real it's not going to be easy but new signings new players then excite the fans makes them want it we all want this season to start We're about to begin kickoff time nobody needs reminding us the importance of this match but what kind of a match will it turn out to be Here's Wayne Rooney. He's won the ball and suddenly he's on the attack. Is it through? Ronaldo. Couple of plays in the middle to aim for. Heads it clear. Cole. Oh, that's what you call a tackle. Gigs now. Lose the whip. He's such an elusive runner with the ball. Crossed into the box. 
Ronaldinho. Zidane. now Delaney oh giving away in a dangerous area did well to win it there Totti won it well now what can he do they just can't get the ball off him McCann Solano. Well won. He's looking around him for support now. Sangel. It's a difficult defence to break down. Throw it. It's Totti now. This is Zidane. Miguel now hasn't really been able to get past his man. This is Giggs. The attack petering out there. They were trying to play their way out of trouble and they played their way into trouble. He did well to get the ball and in a very promising position. And there's the first goal! Why not? No, they've got to defend well. Protect the lead. Straight the opposition, that's what it's all about now. Took his first chance of the game like he was never going to get another one. They've made the breakthrough, it's 1-0. Uh, De La Cruz. Really taking the defenders on. That wasn't a good challenge. Free kick's been given. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the free kick, but no way past this goalkeeper. He's a goalkeeper who's had some bad moments in the past two years. Want to put him under pressure. This is Paul Scholes. This is Francesco Totti. Played square. Hendry. Read it well and made the tackle. Thankfully, the defender was there to clear. Zidane. You just can't take your eyes off him, and they just can't take the ball off him. They had the chance there to uh, extend their lead. Goal kick's taken out wide. He's travelled a long way. Hendry. Barry trying to get into a position from where he can cross the ball. It's Cristiano Ronaldo now. A four. It's like the ball is tied to his foot. Wonderful dribbling ability. The defender gets a foot in. That's an invitation to attack. Getting possession there. Wonderful save. Was well cut out. It's a foul. Zinedine Zidane. Here's Ronaldinho. Now he's got one or two options here. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's created a chance for himself. Good position here, they've got the throw.
Here's Wayne Rooney. Needs a decent cross. Nice. Skulls now. McCann. Good pass. Zangel. Lovely long ball there. It's Ronaldinho now. That's a speculative shot. He needs to do some work on his shooting at the moment. That was way off target. Rather mistamed it. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got space for the cross. Played in. He's put it away. Well, it would have been a shame if a cross as good as that had not had someone on the end of it. This match may be all but over already. Samuel. Referee had no doubt. Hendry. Fine tackle. He knows what he can do with the ball. Rudy now. And here's a real chance. That was not very far away. Well, he needs to dust himself down and get back among the chances after that miss. First 45 minutes ends with the score at 2 0. Doesn't get much better than this if you're a Manchester United fan. Team playing well, dominating the game, winning and creating chances. had his say, hopefully he's looking to the side for this second 45 minutes, only halfway, still plenty can happen as the second half begins, now then, McCann, this is Zidane, this is a breathtaking run, defenders here, there and everywhere, Here's Angel. Makaleli. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tackling up well in midfield. Rudy. He's got the ball back. Samuel did well to regain possession. Who's with him? Can he play it in? They've got it away for the moment. Can he shoot? Ball a kick has been given. if he was offside or not. The manager is sending out a clear message here, freshening up his team and giving them more attacking options. It's a bold move. Oh, 
So we have a, a throw in. Barry. To me, to me. <laughs> Take that piece of defending, top it in the top drawer. Brilliant. It's just some great defending at the moment. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he finish? Didn't hold it. Will he shoot? It's offside. Let's take a look at the uh, offside decision again. Back out by the keeper. Hendry got the ball back well. This is Paul Scholes. Rooney now. Chance to shoot. They can't stop scoring. Yeah, it's all over play. It's as simple as that. There's absolutely no way back. This is embarrassing. That's two goals for him now. Just so difficult to keep quiet. Starting to stretch their lead, that's 3-0. Uh, He's such an elusive runner with the ball. It was straight into the keeper's grateful hands. Goalkeeper clears. This is Zidane. He wanted that ball, he wasn't going to take no for an answer. This is Ronaldinho. Wonderful, wonderful dribbling ability. The nearest of touches did the trick. It's going to be a corner. Everybody needs to pick up their men. Clearing header. He's won the ball and suddenly he's on the attack. Barry. Well won, he's looking around him for support now. Zidane. There are those who say dribbling is a dying art, but it's alive and well when he's on the ball. Well, he's only heaping the pressure on himself with these misses. It's Totti now. It's Manchester United's game to do what they will with. They shouldn't really lose it now, they're back on the ball. afford to lose the ball so close to your own goal it's uh, gonna be a throw in Samuel He's won that well, and now he's got a chance to get them moving. Ronaldinho. Barry. Nice touch. Well, that's when, as a defender, you've got to keep the door closed. Rooney. Ball intercepted, and that's the end of that attack. Angel. Cole. And now Ferdinand. Zinedine Zidane. Still United lead. They know the game is theirs for the taking if they use the ball well. Now he's got the ball, what can he do with it? What can he do with the ball here now? Samuel. Barry. Chasing back well there. It's Cristiano Ronaldo now. Keep it up. He's the sort of player who gets you out of your seat. He's a rare talent. Well wider the goal with that shot. Well, we can laugh about that shot, but I'm sure he won't.
Go kick deep into enemy territory. This is Vassell. We wanted that a bit more than the attacker. Rooney now. Just uh, a couple of minutes of uh, added time for injuries and stoppages here. Good football from the defender. They were trying to play their way out of trouble. Saved by the goalkeeper's fingertips. And that's gone out for a corner. Here's Giggs. Oh, he's got a chance. Put the ball in the box. It's Angel. Cole. He's won it well. Now, what's on here? Makaleli. They just can't get the ball off him. They scored here! Well, this goalkeeper really is being overwhelmed. The poor goalkeeper's shell shot. Goals just flying past him. can tackles are sharp it's totty now there's the final whistle four nil here something of a walkover i'm afraid well i wouldn't fancy anyone to score against this defense today This is EA Sports Talk Radio with Patrick Kinghorn and Tony Cascarino. Well, Cass, I had to look half through that game and check it wasn't cricket. A cricket score looked on the cards and so it proved they have absolutely hammered them today. Pat, everybody thought it was going to be a tight affair. Who would have imagined that the victory would have been as wide a, mar a margin as it was? Incredible victory. And your thoughts coming up next on EA Sports Talk Radio. OK, to the Midlands, the heartland of England now. Let's go to Eric in Solihull. Hi, Eric. You're on EA Sports Talk. I've got two words. Get in. Get in. What a game. We dominated that match from start to finish. We appreciate the call, thanks. The phone lines are open and ready to go on EA Sports Talk Radio. A chance for you to have your say to the nation. Everyone's got an opinion, now let's hear yours, please. Line one, you're live. This is excellent. I mean, every game is bang, 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 in the net. Excellent. Can't complain. Scoring plenty. A good point, well made. Many thanks for your call, caller. Caller, go ahead. I want to get a taxi to Gosworth as soon as possible. Hello? Have you not been listening to the last hour of the show? Next caller. Caller, are you there? What a great game. Two words, get in. We dominated that game from start to finish. Mm -hmm. We deserved that entirely. Absolutely outstanding performance. Great, great, great. Again, for momentum. You know, let's just compete with the best in Europe. Right. Simple as that. Well, it's getting quite heated in the studio. It's getting quite heated on the phone lines. Lots more controversial views to come when we come back on EA Sports Talk Radio. 